Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. My name is Visha and in today's video we will be doing a five mom hacks for school aged kids. I got this idea, this video idea from Shay's Place so go check her out. I know um, a, lot of a lot of you guys who are on my YouTube, you guys are mothers. So once I'm done with my five mom hacks, please let me know down below what are your five mom hats that you have for your kids? I have an eight year old um, and <laughs> just me having one, you know, I have these hacks in place for my sanity, okay? So my mom hack number one is I like finding the school clothes for the whole entire week. And the reason I like doing that hack is so that um, we're not wasting time in the morning at all. And also the fact that she could just get up and go brush her teeth, put on lotion and put on her clothes, okay? That's why I like doing that mom hack. That is a very important mom hack for me, especially for school time. Number two, keeping a accident kit in the car. And what I mean by that is paper towels, napkins, wipes, I like to keep those things in the car just in case there is an accident or she needs to blow her nose or she needs to wipe her hands, any of that. Oh, and also I love to keep hand sanitizer in the car as well. Mom hack number three, I like giving her a to-do list. As you guys see in a lot of my cleaning videos when I am cleaning up her room, she has a checklist on the chalkboard that she has to do every single day. That helps me you know, that helps me help her, one, to be more responsible, but it helps me to make that be like one less room that I have to do. Also, she is responsible for cleaning her bathroom and she is responsible for cleaning the kitchen downstairs when we're done eating, meaning she wipes down the counters where she eats at and she also sweeps the floor and I will, you know, continue doing everything else but I keep that mom hack in place to teach her responsibility and to teach her that you have to clean up after you is your mess you made it I'm not cleaning it so that is my mom hack number three my mom hack number four is keeping things organized in bins so again going back in the van's room if you watched one of our cleaning videos you would see I have her toys they are in bins especially in her room i have them categorized her next bin y'all the plane okay so that passed but so in her room her bins they are categorized only one bin is categorized and that's like her pencils, her journals, her coloring books, all of that. I have those in bins and then on the other side next to her bin, she has all her toys. Her toys are in bins as well, meaning her miscellaneous toys are at the bottom, her Barbie dolls and her Barbie doll clothes, every they're in the middle then she has her little fake little makeup is at the top so I keep her things organized in bins it'll help her know where she needs to put things it'll help me know where <laughs> I need to put things also I do the same exact thing in my kitchen um, with my seasonings um, I notice that I have to keep the things organized like I really do have a Caribbean um, shelf and then I also have a just I was just gonna say American shelf or American seasonings my Caribbean seasonings and I keep those two separate from each other I'm gonna do a video on you know how I organize the kitchen but I make sure I keep everything organized for my sanity because if it's not organized and I don't know where I put it <laughs> or I keep everything organized so that I know where I put it I want my family to put it back where it belongs if that makes sense okay and then um 
my last and final tip is to be patient and live in the moment we are mothers everything is not going to be perfect so we need to be patient we need to live in the moment we just need to enjoy our kids a happy mom equals a happy child okay and then some i know a lot of people's like sometimes that's not true but it is it is true a happy mom equal a happy child be patient with your kids remember their ages in your head if you're like me i have to like remember like visha she's eight or when she was six visha she is six years old she's still a baby now i'm still doing the same thing visha she's eight she's still like she's not a baby baby but she's like she's getting up there but just be patient patience is the key so and those are all my five mothering hats that I have for you guys for school age kids. And if you like this content, please like the video, um, comment down below. And if you're not already, please do subscribe. And if you like my makeup look, I did do a tutorial on it and it will be out on Tuesday. No, not on Tuesday. It will be out on Thursday. Okay, guys. So until next time. Peace, guys.